Welcome everybody to the News Graphics Scott County Girls Basketball Coaches Show, edition one of this uh, promising girls basketball season with Coach Steve Helton. And, uh, Coach, uh, just tell us a little bit about uh, how the early season's gone for the Cardinals and uh, what kind of expectations you have going in. You know, it's been uh... It's been interesting. Let's say it that way. Uh, we've had two scrimmages. We we, we just completed our last scrimmage uh, on a Saturday. Uh, we played Mason over at Harrison, and uh, you know it's really gave us a good uh, indication where we're at. Um, you know, a lot of people have said, "Where are you guys at right now? How you doing?" What we we're playing hard, uh, and, and you know when a team's playing hard, uh, good things will happen. Uh, we'll we'll fine tune everything as the weeks progress, but. Uh, Right now, I am just, uh, I'm, I'm really tickled that, uh, you know, our intensity level is there. Um, and, and, you know, we're, we're, we're growing. Uh, we're, we're ex we have experience, and then we have no experience. Yeah. And we're trying to mesh that together. Yeah, I was going to ask you about that. Because you have an interesting roster if you look at it. you got four seniors. Uh, I don't even think all four of them are going to be available to start the season. And you've got some really, really young kids, I mean, uniquely young kids. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and those young kids are, are really talented. Yeah. I mean, I, I really, really think uh, by the middle to end of the year, those young kids are, are going to impact this team in a great way. Uh, right now, I think they're just enjoying and trying to, they're trying to get used to practice because they're like, we practice like this every day. And uh, so, uh, you know, our, our four seniors uh, that we have with us, uh, they are great leaders, um, you know, Brittany, uh, she has just had meniscus surgery, so you know she's going to be out for a few months here. But we're still hopeful though to get her back uh, in, in the flow. Hopefully, uh, you know we make a tournament run in February and you know get her back. Uh, you know because we, we can use her shooting. Uh, mm -hmm. She can fly out, shoot the ball, and uh, you know between Lauren uh, and Katie and Holly, uh, we have leadership. Um, our guard play is extremely strong. Uh, you know I'll take our guards. You know against anybody in the state. Mm -hmm. A lot of kids jockeying for playing time. It looks like you've got good depth. Uh, maybe not a set lineup yet at this point in the season, though. You know, right right now, and we talked about early in the season, we need to be challenged. We want challenged in practice. We want every practice um, to be pushed. Uh, because I mean, if you're comfortable, you don't get better. So we want these kids uncomfortable every day, and you know, not to say that we won't settle into a lineup within the you know coming weeks, but right now. Uh, you know, you have, uh, you know, I, I'll, I'll say 14 kids who are jockeying for playing time, uh, you know, and, and we have some interchangeable parts. And that's where, you know, from a coaching standpoint, uh, we, we threw some kids in on Saturday who hadn't been playing normal positions and just said, hey, let's go play. And uh, from a coaching standpoint, though, we got to get a little bit more uh, into where they feel comfortable uh, and where we can have them make the best play for our team. But uh, right now, uh, practices are competitive, and uh, I love fire and competitive practices. I mean, just, <laughs> that's the way we play, it's what we coach, and, uh, you know, again, it goes right back to right now we're playing hard. Yeah. Just uh, give fans a little bit of an idea what kind of pace we can have. I would assume a pretty fast pace and uh, maybe sub four or five girls at a time to try to maintain that pace throughout the game? Or? We want to play as fast as we can play. We want a fast break on every opportunity depending on time and score. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I do think that sometimes, you know, people get lost in that. And there is opportunities when you need to take the air out of the ball a little bit. Uh, but we want a fast break on every opportunity. Uh, we want to press as, you know, I would love to press 32 minutes a game. I would love for high school basketball to go to a shot clock. I would be the first one in line saying we want a shot clock. Mm -hmm. Uh, now, I don't know how we pay for it, <laughs> but I would be first in line to say, you got to buy the clock, you got to pay someone to run it. keep it, and then you got to figure out the rules behind it. But yeah. I would, you know, we want to play as fast as we can, and we tell them, you know, we're going to be one of the best conditioned teams in the state. Um, you know, and not just by getting on the line and running. We ever, our practice is high tempo. Everything we do, we transition from drill to drill, and it's all about tempo. We want to play with pace, and if you play the right way, you're going to need a break at some point. Uh, uh, and so you know, there's where we have that, you know, right now we're very blessed to have a rotation that could be, you know, nine or ten kids. Looking at your roster, getting back to that, I, I, as a newcomer to this program, I see something that I have, have never seen at the high school level before, which is girls are in seventh and eighth grade listed on the roster. Is that, I, I take it that's kind of a, be a, a tradition around here, and uh, how, do you, how do you mesh it all together with girls that are seniors, juniors with that? 
You know, in the state of Kentucky, you'll see it across the state, uh, in order to field a freshman team, sometimes a JV and even sometimes a varsity team, districts bring those middle school, or, you know, they have that opportunity. We play our middle school season before, you know, in July we start practice and we play a middle school season and, and it's finished by the time we start our first practice. Uh, and, and then we have the opportunity to, to look at some of those kids and we, you know, we're out to the middle school games looking and watching and, uh, and, and trying to figure out where we can mesh these kids together. And, you know, it, it's just not at the freshman level. We've got some, you know, eighth graders that are, that, you know, they're challenging for starting positions. As silly as that may sound, uh, you know, Miss Basketball started as a seventh grader, uh, Rebecca Gray. Uh, a lot of our all-state players, we've had those players here. And by the time they're sophomores, they're really seniors because they've been here four years. They kind of run the program. And, uh, you know, that's just kind of carried over. And, you know, Warren Beam, she's been here, you know, she started as eighth grader. So she's been, you know, this is her fifth year, so I guess she got a red shirt here uh, in high school. But she's been here five, six years. She knows how we practice. She knows what to expect. And she takes that knowledge and carries it over. You know, Katie Hudson, they've been here with us, you know, not just four years, five, six years. And it does pay off in the end. You know, beginning-wise, though, it's tough. You know, those little guys are like, whoa, and they got the, the big eyes. and. Uh, this is a lot, a lot of carry. By the time they're done, though, they're physically and mentally strong, and, and you know, by the time they're seniors and ready for that challenge. You know, that's what it is right there. You know, physically, you know, our eighth graders, they look the part of a high school player. You know, physically, they're just, they're athletes. Uh, but the mental part of the game, the scout reports, the, the film sessions, that it's new to them, mm -hmm. and it does take time to grow into it. And, uh, mm -hmm. you know, I'm very pleased where we're at right now. Talk a little bit about your schedule and uh, looking at last season's schedule. It was it was pretty challenging. You had, guys had a pretty solid record during the season, but it looks like a very very tough district. <laughs> uh, you know, Brian Stage and Henry Clay, um, extremely athletic. Um, you know, there's no uh, they're going to get up and down the court with us. Uh, and, you know, and I don't think either one team wants to slow down. Uh, Sayer has a new coach this year. Uh, Charles Thomas, I, he goes back from when we played in high school together, uh, mm -hmm. so I know him well. Uh, you know, then you know, not to overlook this season, but the next season, probably adding the new Fayette County School yeah. into our, our district. So, uh, you know, very athletic district. Uh, you know, that we'll play five games with. We we'll play them home and away. Uh, we play Sarah once, and that's at home. Uh, and then you, you go into our region, which is again very athletic, mm -hmm. very challenging. Uh, you know, Franklin County was. State runner-up last year, uh, and uh, but to be the best, you got you got to play the best, and so that's why when you look at our schedule and you put games together. And as odd as it may sound, we had trouble finding games this year. Mm -hmm. And and usually what happens is you got the top ten teams in the state; they're always looking. <laughs> so when you go looking for games, they're the ones who come calling, and you know. I, I just don't have the mindset to say no. We, we need to, we, you know, we need a feel-good game here. No, we, let, let's play. Yeah. And uh, that's how you get better. It's it's what you know. I, I tell people it's a dress rehearsal. Yeah. Our season is just preparing us for postseason. And uh, you know, hopefully we continue to get better. We grow because we're going to be challenged uh, from regular season to our tournaments. Our two tournaments this year with uh, yeah, you're going, going down to Duncanville <laughs> uh, again. That's an opportunity for our kids to see. You know, they've never seen six three point guards. They've never seen you know <laughs> six five two guards. So it'll be a great opportunity for us to see really good competition. But I stand behind Kentucky basketball is different. You know, whether you're in Texas or South Carolina or Florida. Uh, you know, last year we went down to Florida and two Kentucky teams, us and Louisville Mail, in the finals. Um, the Toyota Classic this year may, if everybody don't beat each other up, may have four teams in top ten. Uh, so again, I mean, you know, you're gonna play four team, three teams in top ten uh, within a four-day span. Uh, you know, you're uh, you're setting yourself up for. Uh, uh, you're going to get better one way or the other. Regular season starts uh, Wednesday after Thanksgiving, I believe. Was that a home game? Home game. We actually we got four home games in a row, uh, and to start the season. And uh, you know, with a young team, I, I'm pretty pleased with that. Uh, we, we play Grant County. Uh, you know, like right next to us, uh, Sean West. They're going to come in here. They're going to be very aggressive. They're going. They're going to look to get up and down with us. Uh, so it, 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 you know, it should give us a, another good indication where we are. You know, we've had two scrimmages. We've had you know a few days of practice. We'll, we, we will take a few days off 
for Thanksgiving. Uh, you know, I know it's an exciting time. Coach McKee, he gets to practice over Thanksgiving. <laughs> and, and we're actually going to take a couple of days off for Thanksgiving just to get ready for our season. But, uh, you know, it, it's here. Um, right. You know, and a lot of these young kids are going to learn on the road. As Coach mentioned, several chances early in the season to catch the Lady Cards. We hope you will uh, come out to the gym and uh, join us. And, and join us throughout the season every week. Uh, we'll be here to talk Lady Cards basketball with Coach Elton. Until next time, I'm Cal Oaks. We'll see you.